So how do I go about my planning for these rallies? Well, this is a slight variation on the setup I used for the National Road Rally last July. Obviously, we use the instructions, mainly the map as you can see. I also use Google Maps. And the reason I do handwritten ones is quite simply, I can do it either at home or on my break at work, and I'm not reliant on having a printer. Initially, I just write up a list of the locations and some of the details from the instructions and some of the details from Google Maps, i.e. mainly the mileages. This is all part of a bit of a process to see if my, well, I'll call it a plan. It's more of a guide, really, because there's so many variables, you can't really plan it totally. But this is to see if it's feasible. As you can see, there's some crossings out because I put three too many locations down and had to knock three off and the easiest way to do that was to knock three off at the end which does mean i'm going to have quite a journey from the last location back to welsh ball but makes it different if the basic outline list is feasible and i mean that very loosely i then progress to notes more detailed notes some of the notes are not that detailed some of them can be quite detailed. Now, if it's a very, say, short trip, say five or six miles, and there isn't much in the way of turning, it will just be one paragraph. If it's a longer trip and it's more detailed, then I do split each stage up into separate parts. As you can see here, there's four parts. We've got the stage number from where we are starting the stage from to where we're going to. We've also got the clue number of the destination from the instructions. And again, from the instructions, we've got the GRIF reference for the GB6 Wales paper fold-out map. Now, the times of departures and arrivals are very, very variable. I've allowed myself 10 minutes for each destination to find the clue and note it down. Again, that is completely guesswork. It's hoping that I do find what I'm looking for and I can answer it quite quickly. This time allowance is more than double the allowance I started with with the National Rally last year. It's a pinch of salt job really. As you can imagine, this is quite a slow process, but I do like my maps and looking around and planning this, well, planning, uh, having a go at planning, this sort of thing. But to quicken things up a little bit, this is just a basic bit of cardboard from a box I've cut out in a shape that will fit inside my tank bag window. Now everything's still quite stiff and it's quite awkward to get things into the window if they're floppy like paper. I've used card this year. Last year I used notepad paper, which was pretty awkward to get in and out of the window of the tank bag. And this is my pattern. This shape allows me to get the card in and out of the tank bag window quite easily. Now, most of my timings are worked out on an average speed of 25 miles an hour. It's very open to question whether that's going to be anything like right. I think it's going to be more slow than it, well, I hope it's going to be more slow than it should be. Hopefully, I'll gain a little bit. So, in effect, I'm building more time into my plan at the start and taking it from there. Anything above that speed is a bonus, of course. But we'll see how we go. And, of course, it is a bank holiday weekend. All adds to the challenge, I suppose. If my outline plan, or guide, whatever you want to call it, is anything like right, I should be on the road for about 13 hours. Now that leaves me something like three and a half hours leeway to get back to Welshpool. That leftover time, is time I can allocate to my breaks, and I will be stopping. Uh, I always make a point of doing that. Never carry on if you're tired. Stop, have a break, something to eat, something to drink. At the end of the day, it's about fun, not about killing yourself. So that's it, folks. I think roughly, more or less, everything that I do to go about doing these national rallies. I don't use sat-nav, as you can see. And I like that. It's not reliant on something else. It's a slow process, certainly, getting to this stage. But if you enjoy the planning and the mapping, it's another thing to the event. Mm -hmm.